In this video, we are going to discuss about file handling concepts in Java and then implement a program for the creation of file and writing any such particular thing in a file. Now the basic question arises is that what is a file and why do we need file handling concepts in Java? So file is nothing but simple storage of data where we can store data that particular item can be said as a file. Now in Java language why do we need the file handling concepts? So a file system may implement restriction to certain operation. There might be restrictions for read, write or any other such as execute. So there might be several ex so there might be several kind of restrictions on the operations such as reading, writing and executing. Now these restrictions are known as SS permission that among these which permission are you given to a particular file. So while assessing those permissions, while reading a file in Java, we must know about the Java file class. There are several inbuilt classes in Java. Among them, there is one as Java file class. So the file class has several methods for working with directories and files such as creating new directories or files, deleting the files, writing in any particular file. So the file object represents the actual file or directory of any particular disk. For assessing reading, writing and executing operations on any particular file, we need the file handling concept or we must know about the Java file class. So very basic thing which comes is that what is the method to create a file with the help of Java? How can we do that for creation of a file? So to create a file with Java, we must include the package or import the packages of the file class. For that, we all know that we have to write import java io.file. So these imports actually all the methods or all the constructors which are there in the file class of Java. Now for the creation of the new file, what we need to do is we have to write this particular syntax file dot create new file. This is the method which is used for the creation of a file with the help of java.io.file class. Now this method will actually return this particular method is a boolean method. So it will return either true or false values. True if the file is accomplished that means if a new file is created to whichever location you give and the file name. And false if the file already exists in the system and the operation neglects for the some other reason that this file cannot be created because it already exists such kind of thing. This method also throws java.io input output exception where we are not able to create the file. So we have studied about exception and exception handling and we know that if this particular class or this particular method can actually throw exception then we have to include it in the try and catch block for, for checking the exception and then eliminating it from the program or executing the program without disrupting the flow of the program. So when we create the file object by passing the file name, it can be with the absolute path and we can provide the file name or we can provide the relative path also. That means we can provide the path of the file and name of the file to check that whether the file is created or not. Now this is for a file creation. What if I want to write in any particular file? So for writing, what I have to do is I have to use this particular method file writer and then let's say we initialize a new object named writer and for initializing any new object we use the keyword new and as we do that then file writer and a new object is created on this particular file which we have given here file dot new creation of a file and then with the help of this particular object created writer we use the write method to write in our file and here you can mention whatever the things you want to write in your file such as inside a file or welcome or test data anything you can write and after writing this particular thing you can close that particular file you can close this write object or this particular object now this method will create a file and write the content in it too so now firstly execute this program and see how a new file is created to the location which we have mentioned and the file name and how can we write the particular data also with the help of file writer class. 
Now here you can see that firstly I have imported the java.io file package then the file writer and as we know that this particular statement for the creation of a new file this method is actually a boolean method which returns the true and false value and if this method also throws the input output exception when it is not able to create a file for that I have done is import java.io input output exception so that I can use this particular exception in the catch block if the program catches any exception so firstly I have created a new file with the use of new keyword and the file name I have given is file1.txt in the C drive I have mentioned in the folder name and a particular file will be created now if I, if look now with the condition statement if else what I have done is if file is created that means file dot create new file if this file is created then it is going to print in the console in here when I run the particular program that this file is created else it will print that file already exist now in the file writer with the help of the packages or the methods which I have included with the help of import java dot io file writer I have used a new writer object for writing in that particular file and what it is going to write that inside the file and then close that particular object and then exception has been there that if the file cannot be created then it will be cached in the exception so this particular code is written within the try and catch block you can see here that this code is created here is the try block and here is the catch block because this particular statement file new actually gives a exception throws an input output exception when it is not able to create a particular file so now firstly let us execute this program and see if a file is created and the data is written in it or not and what is the data which I have given is inside the file so as I run this particular file named test1.java here you can see in the console it is displaying me that the file is created that means file1.txt is actually created in this particular location so let us check that it is created So here you can see that in the C drive and the folder name Sukanya, a file one is created, a text document is created. And as I click open this particular text document, it is showing me that inside the file, which we have written with the help of the file writer class and using the dot write method. That is how actually a file is created with the help of file handling concepts in Java and we can create a particular file and write particular things or any particular paragraph you want to write append a particular text you can do that with the file handling for more concepts and programs of java we will look into upcoming videos